Um, the nigga who shot the nigga who shot Roy Lee was born, or the nigga who shot at Yellow Beezy was born, and their mother was trying to she was using that child as a tool to keep the father, keep the, the nigga. She wanted she turned her nothing ass boyfriend, which would be the the, the child's father, into a father. She tried to turn the child's daddy into a father. There's a difference. You know what I'm saying? But he was a nothing-ass nigga while y'all was fucking. He was a nothing-ass nigga while y'all was dating. Why would he change from a nothing-ass nigga to a something-ass nigga? Because you're going through changes. I'm A.O. Conseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation. Niggas kill Roy Lee. Roy Lee is a comedian. You probably know who the fuck he is. Um, Roy Lee is a comedian. And uh, in Texas and shit like that, and Texas is, is a real big part of the show. Roy Lee is a comedian that got into it with Yellow Bees and over some social media shit, which is that was um, advocated by the powers that be. The motherfuckers that made this whole social media network are the same people in conjunction, they work with the same people who dropped the dope off. In California back in the 80s. These are the same people who taught them how to turn that dope into crack. The same people who then made it a law that if you're caught with that, you're going to go do free work in prison for the rest of your life. So it's the same trap in a different location. It was in California then, now it's worldwide. They found a way, as soon as the World Wide Web was made, they had to find a way to make sure that we, niggas, would be tripped up somewhere in there. When um, we were free, they had to um, run the, 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 the 13th Amendment bullshit where um, any law that they deem they can make any law to put you in jail to where you're a slave all over again. They've never given us anything without a stipulation on top of it. You don't have to hear what the fuck it is I'm saying. But listen to this. There has not been a motherfucking killing. A nigga has not died by the... Alright, I know. You're not getting notifications. Understood. You knew they were going to do this shit. At one point or another. All you got to do is go down to where you subscribe at. Down there. The bell right beside it. Click it till it says you will get all notifications. If it's already on. You will get all notifications. Then click that bitch off of that. And then on to that again. We're just going to nigger rig the shit. You know what I'm saying? You know how some fucked up in the house. Cut that bitch off. And then cut it back on. That'll fix it. Um, if you're an AO Nation. And you have your uniform. And you haven't seen your picture at the beginning of one of the shows. Send your picture to any one of the fucking, you know what I'm saying, social media platforms that come on the show that's always on the screen and shit like that. Um, so we can get you right. If you're new to the channel, go to this PayPal and you'll get your shirt. You already see your shirt for 20. You'll get your Big Facts Podcast snapback for 25. Make sure you include your size and color with your address and shit like that. Everyone who donates, listen. I want to give a shout out to everybody who's been donating religiously. Like, I fuck with everybody who comment and shit like that and show love. Like, and if you ain't got it right now, it's straight. But for those of you who are donating, man, like, dog, like, be home. I fuck with you, man. Like, big bitch, I fuck with you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this shit is too fucking real. If you're new to the channel and you don't know how to fucking donate, go to this fucking PayPal. Um, a dollar, two dollar, whatever the fuck it is, man. You know what I'm saying, show love. 
AO Nation is the best fucking, you know what I'm saying, movement that I know. Period. I fuck with y'all, man. Hold up. To all my rappers, if you want promotion on the show, prices start at $200. They range all the way up to, I think, $1,200, uh, depending on what kind of package you get. But do not hit me up until you at least have $200. So we can get some type of transaction in. I don't have a secretary, assistant. I do everything myself and I don't have time to waste talking to you until I'm blue in the face and then you say, alright, I'm going to holler back at you. I'm ready to work. You ready to work? Let's get to it. If your music is not up to par, I'm not going to fuck with it. Um, to all my business owners, uh, for the month of the rest of the month of October, I'm going to run a special. Um, prices start at $100 for y'all and they range up to $1,000 depending on the health of the package. The hands of another nigga without the help of this system, of this net that we're under. We're not on the net. We're not surfing the net. We're under the net, inside of the net, trapped in the net. What I found funny about this, let's, let's talk about the situation. Roy Lee was killed... Uh, by some niggas who weren't trying to kill him. Like, they, they weren't trying to kill him. They shot a nigga in the leg. Uh, Yellow Bees at Homeboys shot Roy Lee. So, when Roy Lee died yesterday, them niggas came and tried to kill Yellow Bees today. They were unsuccessful. Now, is, is that the end of the... Is that the end of it? Of course not. Um... So many things I want to say here. Uh, first off, I'm gonna do a video about you know all the all the good shit about how you niggas like I'm trying to tell y'all about this down south shit down here. Like success is not something that's taken lightly by anyone. Once you become successful, you then owe niggas. Not that you know, you don't owe the niggas that you you don't you don't only owe the niggas that you know. You owe everybody that you've ever seen in your whole life. Um, every nigga that is from 20 miles from where you're from, you owe them also. If they ask you for something and you decline, you have then now disrespected them. And in the South, disrespect, as you've heard, T, I tell you on many occasions, I don't know what you'll do for your respect, but I'll die for mine. If you're going to disrespect me when I ask you for a rack to go get my, you know what I'm saying, get me a call, get my transmission fixed. If I ask you for a rack and you act like, you know what I'm saying, like how the nigga did plies. The nigga suplex plies off a of stage because he didn't, after he dapped him, he didn't want to hug and kiss him. You know what I'm saying, on stage. He disrespected him at that point. So now you get suplexed off the stage. The nigga that suplex Plyer said, the nigga was trying to treat me like a fuck nigga. No, he wasn't keeping it real. When you can obviously see on the tape that the nigga was drunk as fuck, he da Plyer dapped the nigga up. Like, all right, now hold on. Like, whoa, what, what you want now? The nigga was still standing there. He was incoherent. But even after he sobered up, he still said the nigga disrespected him. And this is what I was just talking to Big C about. Who am I talking to? There's no way that I can talk to niggas that haven't mentally grown at all. Listen to what I'm telling you. Niggas that don't have logic and reason, I can't speak to you. Uh, Big C gave an example. He said, uh, you meet a nigga in jail and you ask a nigga uh, what he'll do for his child. The motherfucker said, I do anything for my child and shit like that. Then you ask the motherfucker, well, why, why don't you, why won't you go out there and work 80 hours a week for your child and be out there for the child? If you want the child to be something, why wouldn't you, you know, sacrifice this fast life for the child? And I'm telling him, that line of questioning doesn't compute in a nigga's mind that never had any type of reasoning, uh, problem-solving skills inputted into him because... That motherfucker was not raised by parents. He was raised by a... Fuck it. He was raised by a nothing-ass bitch that didn't want him in the first place. She wanted a relationship. Not a child. And she shows that by immediately 
abandoning and neglecting the child only to bring as many niggas as it takes in and out of her house until she feels like she's in one solid relationship. Listen what I'm telling you. A child is born. Um, the nigga who shot the nigga who shot Roy Lee was born, or the nigga who shot at Yellow Beezy was born, and their mother was trying to. She was using that child as a tool to keep the father, keep the the nigga. She wanted. She turned her nothing ass boyfriend, which would be the the, the child's father. Into a father. She tried to turn the child's daddy into a father. There's a difference. You know what I'm saying? But he was a nothing ass nigga while y'all was fucking. He was a nothing ass nigga while y'all was dating. Why would he change from a nothing ass nigga to a something ass nigga? Because you're going through changes. This nigga has taken money out your purse. This nigga has beat you to a bloody pulp. This nigga has done everything in the book to you. But now you think that. Because you going to labor, he's going to what? And because she made that decision and it backfired, she then tries the whole process over and over and over again. In order to try it over and over and over again, you have to have different males. Because the next male you try with is not going to work. The next male you try with is not going to work. And she's going to keep on trying until males no longer want to come to the house, which would be when she's old and fat. And this white got so many old, fat, nothing-ass bitches that's mad as fuck with no man. Because they've been trying to find something in the world that should already be inside of them, which is love for oneself. You've been looking for completion out there. And the reason you haven't found it is because those people out there can tell that you don't have any love in here. A person can tell whether or not they should respect your house just by looking around your house. Whether or not they need to pick up whatever they put down. Whether they need to wipe the seat whenever they get done pissing. Put the seat back down. It's not an outward, it's not an... And it's not something you get externally, you know what I'm saying? This is an internal thing that a person can just tell by the way that you carry yourself. A nigga can tell whether or not he should respect you by the way your pussy smell. You, you, you might ask, why is it I'm talking about a bitch when we have a nigga dead from a leg shot and we have another nigga... Um, that was just a, a attempted murder or whatever like that. Because if we don't go to the source of the issue, all we'll be doing is cutting branches and want to grow back, want to grow back, want to grow back. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to cut branches off. I'm trying to pull this shit up by the root. And it starts at home. If you can't hear what it is I'm saying, like, because in this situation, um, when the niggas get caught, which they will, Funny how they'll be caught. They'll be caught by the same ways that this whole thing was started. When I tell you that we're under a net, I mean completely under a net that has no holes. That's kind of what's so great about this technology. And now that this, we're dealing with cyber death and cyber threats. Because now everything can be tracked. You niggas is so high and so... And so fucking emotional that when you say it's on site, you really mean that. And it sounds so much better in a rap song because in a rap song, it's on site, nigga. It's on site. It's on site, fuck, nigga. It's on site. But see, if you catch a nigga in traffic somewhere and you weren't expecting to see him, And that's how many niggas that's in the car with these on. We know what time the shooting happened. Obviously, we know the location that the shooting happened.
let's track all the phones that were in this area. And we know we can track the phones because they bounce off of telephone poles. So we can triangulate exactly who the fuck was here. And we'll know exactly where it was at because whether you was in this lane or that lane, we know because we got shells. We know they were either coming from this way or for them like this way. So who would, whoever's phone pinpoints right here is the fucking shooter. After we found out that information by technology, let's bring him in. Or fuck it, let's play with him. Let's look at the three people's, let's say there's three people in the call. Let's look at their fucking phone and let's find out who has the most extensive record. And whoever has the least extensive record will bring him in first. Because he's more likely to be in. If we go looking for him, we can't find him. Well, we know he's a shooter because that's why he left town. Other than that, why the fuck would you leave? So now you went from on site, nigga, on site, to now detectives are feeling that same way about you. It's on site. As soon as they see you, you hit it up top. When, what, what, what you weren't thinking about when it was on site, nigga, on site. Is that you didn't have on-site money. And they don't tell you that in songs. You know what I'm saying? And that's why on the new channel, the Big Homes Network, I'm going to have a show on them called In Hindsight. Where we go through certain rappers' songs and we pick out parts of the song and we just read them out. And we break down what it means and what it would mean in real life. And what it means to you. So when the rappers say, it's on site, it's on site, we're going to break down what they should have told you. And that if you actually go through what they say, what you're going to be thinking in hindsight. Because if a rapper told you before, you do any type of anything, you need to have your money right. Because you're going to jail. That's that's already, under, it should be understood. You're going to jail. Webby told y'all, uh, Fuck, no, that's boosting my fault. Fuck going to jail. Go get your mail. Some shit like that. Talk real well. Fuck going to jail. Some shit like that. Fuck going to jail is what he said. In order to say fuck going to jail, that means that you either have to do illegal shit smart or don't do illegal shit. And the only way... To do illegal shit smart is to think about it. Which means it can't be no on sight, nigga. On sight. It's on a night, nigga. On a night. On a particular night. On this night, you're no longer going to be here. You're going to be dead on this night. On this night, I'm going to come to where you're at with no clothes on. With a shaved head, everything shaved so that there won't be any DNA. I don't know what's going on. I, I, I've been in did my, got a blueprint, bank story, everything is set. Any nigga I want to no longer live will no longer live. I don't have to act like a bitch. A bitch finds out you cheating and then go in there and try to stab you and shit like that. That's acting off emotion. As a man, you're supposed to think logically. I, to be honest, in the grand scheme of things, I can give a fuck about who got shot, who died, and who did the shooting. If you do, if 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 this is the life for you, that's the life for you. If that's what you want to be, if you want to be another lump of coal in their train, I'm not gonna stop you. This is the Harriet Tubman theory. You know what I'm saying? If this is what the fuck you want to do, I have no use for you. I'm not going to try to convert you and tell you why you should want to be free. At this point, 
if you enjoy being a mental slave to this system, the same way we were physical slaves to slave masters, I don't have time to coach you or to liberate your mind. I'm, I'm coming for those who already know where they want to go and giving them the route. Not trying to explain to a motherfucker why they should want this information. I can only tell those who are looking for liberation to stay as far away from these niggas as possible because these niggas who act emotionally and live off of what they call clout nowadays, you're gonna feel you're gonna feel the wrath. You're gonna pay the you're, you're gonna pay the price for someone else's mistake. And your name, my nigga, it ain't no you know what I'm saying? Please do not believe that because they are street legends that the street has any love for you. You can find out the hard way. You know what I'm saying? About how you can be the one to hold it down and do everything that you're supposed to do as a street nigga only for the street to do nothing but sully and do everything in its power to destroy your name. Just think about all the love. If the street was a, was a bitch, if the street was an actual physical bitch, we'll call the streets Keisha. Think about all the shit that you've done for Keisha. You know what I'm saying? Keisha has done so much to fuck up your life. Your mama has told you about Keisha. You know what I'm saying? The people who love you have told you about Keisha. And you're going to die for Keisha. But you've continued. You know what I'm saying? No matter what Keisha done to you, you came right the fuck back. You went to jail for Keisha on a long fucking, on a long little stay. Came right the fuck back to her and did everything that she expected of you. You know what I'm saying? By the time that you find out what Keisha is there for and that Keisha loves no one, no one's gonna give a fuck. The only thing that you can do, my nigga, is try to kill Keisha. And because you can't kill Keisha, you can make Keisha, you can expose Keisha to everyone else so that no one else falls the same way that you feel for Keisha. She was so fine in the beginning, wasn't she? Like, everything was just given. She'll give you anything. But that was all game, wasn't it? Because she never loved you. You hugged the corners. You stayed overnight. You spent nights with her. Only for her to be the one to hand you over to the police. It was Keisha that turned you in. Them folks in the street called that motherfucking hotline and told the fucking law where you was at just so they can get that thousand dollars because they wanted to fuck with Keisha. They took that same a thousand dollars that they got for taking you off the streets and spent it in the street and balled out for about a week. And was back broke. And nobody knew who the fuck did what. You motherfuckers. You rap niggas. Tell lies. 
you paint this bitch Keisha as if she's the best thing that ever happened to you. But just as soon as you got a, the smallest opportunity to leave that bitch, you did it. And you want motherfuckers to watch what it is you do and not what it is you say. Because if, um, anybody with common sense could see like, okay, if the street is all that like that for real, why in the fuck are you doing this? If the streets is all this, whipping the brick, trapping with, trapping, if it's all that and it's that easy and it's just love, 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 and it's to be celebrated like that, why in the fuck are you working so hard to be a mainstream artist? Why in the fuck are you damn near dying, doing everything in your power to make people believe that you're a rapper? In a trapper. You know what I'm saying? Why are you trying to convince people? Why are you trying to get people to fund your escape route? Like like your vacation from the fucking streets. Anybody with common sense can see that, but what you bet on is what what you bet on is the system that the same people that made this net, the same people that made the laws what you're betting on is their fucking system which is we're gonna give these fucking fairy tales to the people that can't think that can't they don't have any common sense to use we're gonna give this to them so that they're we're gonna be the Pied Piper not R. Kelly, but the real Pied Piper. We're gonna dance these motherfuckers. We're gonna rock these motherfuckers to sleep. To where they don't even know what the fuck they doing. They don't know that they're being hypnotized. They don't understand a goddamn thing about frequencies. And how they don't have a choice. Once this music is in their system. And in their psyche. They're no longer in control because now we control their thoughts. Thoughts turn to ideas, ideas turn into actions. Every one of you fucking faggots should be killed because there are people on the street. Hold on. Hold on. For the niggas who shot Wally, for the niggas who shot at Yellow Beezy, y'all y'all some real gangster niggas. Y'all real gangster niggas. Real shooters. Real goons. Anything happen, y'all handling that shit, man. It ain't going down like that. Fuck that. What I'm wondering is, Y'all have had, fuck the past situations y'all have had. There is a white lady that walked into a black man's house and killed him for no fucking reason. And them people then went in that fucking man's house and planted weed. Before that bitch was given a toxicology test. And you motherfuckers ain't do a goddamn thing. I'm done. I'm done.